What's up YouTube, it's your boy James back with another video. And today we're going to take a look at the Air Jordan 9 Particle Grey. Now these were actually sort of limited when they released last week. There was only 39,000 pairs released on the Nike Sneakers app. And I was able to catch a W on there. And uh, there was only over, slightly over 2,000 pairs in my size alone. So this wasn't like, you know, a big GR. These didn't even really release it, most retailers and stuff like that. So, um, you know, I knew that I was going to go after these because we really don't see many Jordan 9s drop, maybe only two or three per year now. It's not like back in the day. So in today's video, we're going to take a, you know, a quick look at these sneakers. And, you know, maybe you haven't yet picked yours up. Maybe you want to go out and pay resale. I'm not really sure, but um, I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions on the Air Jordan 9 Particle Grey. Now, starting out with the box, you just basically get an OG box, the you know, same way you would get with, like, most Jordan 11s and stuff like that. Nothing real special or unique, you know what I mean? If you've seen one, you've seen them all. But there it goes. Inside, you will get a lot number inside of the lid and you're gonna get like this trash bag paper like I said like you would see with like most Jordan 11s and here's our first look at the Air Jordan 9 particle gray Bam! now guys I know for whatever reason the Air Jordan 9 just really isn't that popular as like some of the other silhouettes like the ones and the fours and the 11s and stuff like that and I think some of that has to do with whenever these originally dropped back in the day, Michael Jordan was actually retired from basketball. He was actually playing baseball. And, um, you know, a lot of people don't even fully recognize these as a basketball sneaker, which it definitely is. Um, this black and gray colorway right here, even though we've seen a lot of uh, black and gray colorways drop, you know, from Jordan brand recently, like the military black fours, the stage haze. Uh, ones and stuff like that. This was one that was definitely on my radar from the moment that I saw official images Just because we really don't see many nines, you know what I mean? And um, this one right here is pretty dope in my opinion as far as the materials go uh, You will get some new buck on it uh, This upper part right here is like a mesh and obviously that could probably have you know use some better materials and stuff like that But it actually feels good. It's really not that bad it also comes with like a speed lacing system, which is definitely made for basketball. So this is definitely a basketball shoe uh, for some of those people that don't recognize them uh, as basketball sneakers. One of my favorite parts about the nine is definitely the back right there. You get the two, three uh, with a little hit of red right there. The one thing that I probably don't like about this sneaker, uh, just, you know, one little thing I think could have been a tad bit different is the white outsole. Now the outsole on the Jordan 9 is like straight classic. I really like the way that it is designed, but as you can see here, this is an all white outsole and this is gonna look pretty dirty, pretty crappy, pretty quickly the moment that you start wearing it unless you get some kind of sole protector or something like that. But I mean, aesthetically, this is gonna look great with like a lot of outfits. It's gonna match a lot of things very, very well. So from that aspect, like I really do like this sneaker a lot. Um, I know these ain't for everybody. Um, this was a limited release. These didn't really even drop at most retailers. Uh, like I said, only 39,000 pairs on the Nike sneakers app for the men's pair. And I know Hibbit dropped probably, I think around 10,000 pairs or so. Um, so there's not really a lot of these out there. Um, the prices, like the resale prices for these right now are holding pretty strong. They're like 275, but now that obviously people are start, starting to get their pairs in the mail and stuff like that, I do think the prices will probably dip a little bit, but uh, I think they're gonna go back up. I think this is gonna be like a decent hold. Uh, I definitely see these going up over 300 bucks uh, in the future, maybe even more than that. If you look at Jordan 9s, typically they do well for resale, um, but I don't know if you should like invest in these, but like if you want these for the personal, yo, these are fire. <laughs> this is a pretty dope sneaker. Uh, definitely something that I'm glad that I was actually able to hit on. I thought I was gonna catch an L on release day because of the limited amount of stock that they were dropping, but I got lucky there. And um, you know what I mean? This is like a birthday present to myself. So um, these are dope guys. Uh, definitely stamp approved as far as these go. These are definitely staying in the collection. Um, but you know, let me know down in the comment section how you feel about the Air Jordan 9 Particle Gray. You know, is this a must cop for you? Was this a pass? Do you think these are dope or do you think these are trash? Real quick though, if you haven't yet picked up a Jordan 9 and you're not really familiar with them, they do run a tad bit small. Now I went true to size, doesn't really affect me, but these do kind of, you know, kind of cramp up your like your pinky toe and stuff like that. Uh, you know, what I mean, if you have a tad bit more of a wide foot, it doesn't really bother me. So I went true to size uh, like I always do with Jordan 9s. But, you know, what I mean, just a heads up, you know, what I mean, you might want to go up like a half size or something like that if you go after pretty much any Jordan 9, but especially these ones right here. But guys, once again, I would like to thank you all for your continued support. Thank you for stopping over here to check out another one of my videos. I really do appreciate you all. If this is your first time visiting my channel, though, I'm on that road to 5,000 subscribers. So if you're 
new here and this is the first time you're visiting my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of the videos I drop. And until next video, peace. For more sneaker content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video.